welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Naomi Boyer. Today's video is probably long overdue and honestly better late than never even though summer is almost over. So this video is going to be a comparison of two very popular slides um, that I always use on my channel, the Hermes Oran versus the YSL Tribute Flat or the New Pied whatever you want to call it. So if you are a longtime follower, then you know I'm a big fan of these two types of slides or sandals. So I'm basically going to talk about them since this is a question I get a lot. Which one is better? Which one's more worth it? Is it comfortable or are they comfortable? Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to answer all those questions, show you how I clean them, just everything, all the basics that you need to know. So if you're interested in this video, Please keep watching. All right, so I feel like if you're not familiar, the question that people would wanna know is how much these retail for. So the Iran retails for around $630, depending on which color style design you get because you know they always have different colors available and new colors and also some have like embellishments and different cool designs. So it pretty much goes up from there. And then the YSL Tribute Sandals retail for around $5.95. So these are around $40 more um, than the YSL, again, depending on which ones you buy. And I will also link everything in the description box. So be sure to check that out before you leave if you're interested in any of these. All right, so let's start off talking about the YSL Tribute Slides. So I have three colors in these. I have the white one. I have these black ones right here, which are patent leather. And then I have these brown ones. These were the first pair I ever purchased. As you can tell, they have been worn so much. I love them so much. They go with so much and they're so, so, so comfortable. So these are very narrow, especially up here. But for me, I do have narrow feet. They run true to size, but I honestly think that's what's kind of nice about it. It really just kind of stops you short up here, depending on on how wide or narrow your foot is you might have to size up but if you have a narrow foot stick to your um, true size but they are very elegant hence why I have purchased three because you can wear them for both like dressed up dresses more sleek and chic outfits and you can also wear them with like denim shorts dress them down if you are looking for like a really nice slide if you're not like a heel wearer then these are some really nice comfortable um slides i don't know for me i find them comfortable i have three pairs and I've worn them all so much. I have brought them to travel with me. They're so good for traveling. They'll like literally go with every outfit. I think for me, the pair that I use the most is this one and then also the white one. All right, so here I have the white YSL Tribute sandals or slides on and I am wearing it with my Love Shack Fancy dress and it goes really, really nicely. And yes, it does have the classic YSL design, which you see on other like shoes and wedges and heels and things like that. So at the same time, it does have that design, but it's also still very, very minimal. And you can wear it with like a dress like I'm wearing, which is very feminine. And it goes really, really nicely. You could wear it with jeans, skirts, trousers, and it really kind of just clusters at the front. So it's just like a really simple slide, nothing too busy, and that's why I love it. And also what I mean by narrow, you see how like the foot or the sole of the shoe, it does look pretty narrow. Then if you put your foot in, your toe just doesn't have much space to go in. Um, but that's also kind of what makes it minimal. So it's just kind of sitting at the top of your foot and leaving the rest of your foot free so that it's not so busy, which I think makes it super, super wearable. So here is the black one. Again, this one is in the patent leather, just like that. And it also has like a really slim square toe right down there and they do have different like finishes so this is the patent leather um the white one that i got is like a matte leather and then here is the like cognac brown color that i have which even though it has been worn so many times it still looks and feels nice it does have like a worn look just because it has been worn but it's still a good pair and i've kind of debated whether i should buy a new one but i do also have the oran 
in this color too. All right, so overall, I feel like with wear, it wears really, really nicely. The white one that I have, I've worn so many times, and what I do is I just clean it with like a water wipe or a baby wipe, um, and it's been clean this whole time. It was really easy to keep up, so you see how white it still is, even though I've worn it so many, so many, so many times. The thing that you have to keep in mind with these, like I am not the type of person to be like such a baby <laughs> with my designer stuff like i'm spending the money i'm gonna buy it there is gonna be wear i'm not gonna be like oh i bought it now i'm not gonna wear it because it was so expensive and yes i am careful but at the same time like i wear them so like you you know if you look really really closely there are scuffs and you just have to think about that when you're buying a shoe. You're gonna wear it, it's gonna scuff, it's gonna get dirty. You just have to be okay with it. This is what the sole looks like. It's very smooth. Sometimes if you are walking on like a slippery surface, you know, you might feel a little slippy, but this part down here is rubber, so it does help. Otherwise, not an issue, but I think for white shoes, they have kept up really, really well. So the mistake I made with these ones is that I did wipe them with a baby wipe on this part right here so when it dried it kind of had left like a little film i was bummed about it but at the same time that's just what it is i feel like cost per wear it outweighs that mistake that i made um but just to keep in mind only really just wipe this part of it otherwise if you're buying patent leather it doesn't really matter you can wipe it down that way so 100 percent, i would recommend these ones in any color um they're always coming back they'll never go out of style to me, they're really comfortable, and honestly, they go with everything. These are a flat shoe that I feel like you can wear. Um, like I said again earlier, if you're not a heel wearer and you're wanting to try finding a flat that you can wear, I mean, you know, obviously not to work, but outside of work, these will go with everything. Okay, so moving on to the Hermes Oran sandals. I have two pairs. I have this color and I have white. So the white ones I love and I feel like I've worn these ones more than I've worn the brown ones. I'm not quite sure why because I'm such like a brown fan just because I feel like it goes with so much. Um, but I think I just really loved the way this looked. Again, kind of similar to the YSL. It's like the similar sole at the bottom with the rubber part right here. The nice part about these ones, which I don't know if they're still doing, um, now I think they might have an all white sole, but I bought this years ago. So this part was an all white. So if it got dirty, you would only be able to tell on the toe part. But I have worn these, like I said, again, if you're gonna buy designer shoes, you have to be okay with wear and tear and scuff marks and things like that, obviously take care of your items as best as you can. Like you see right here, this one has scuff marks right here, which I feel like the YSL ones, they have scuff marks, but they're a little more subtle. So you can see right here again, scuff marks on the other pair. This is the left pair. And then here, these are scuff marks on the inside of the right pair. So I feel like pretty much they're scuff marks from rubbing against each other, but it is more visible on white just because it is white because on the brown ones, you don't see any of that. And the brown pair is like almost seamless, the ones that I have. It looks pretty new and pretty good. So if you are worried about, you know, dirt and scuff marks showing, don't go for white. And just to compare for you guys, um, these are the insides of the YSL shoes. So there are scuff marks, but I think the material that they use allows the scuff to be more subtle. It's not as visible. So probably go with this white pair from YSL if you don't like all the scratches that are being shown on the Oran. Also with these, I do clean them the same way, like with the baby wipe on the sole, on the inside, and on the outside as well. I don't think they held up as good as the YSL. Like I said, I think it's just the material, the material that YSL uses versus Hermes. Also keep in mind, Hermes does stitching on their shoes. So my stitching right here, not sure if you guys can see that, but it's kind of coming apart. 
the YSL ones, there is no stitching um, on the top. There is stitching at the sole, however. So for me, this part of the stole, sole is where the stitching is coming off, which my foot is covering it anyway. So I definitely have used this one a lot longer and a lot more than the Hermes Orans though. So not sure why the stitching is coming off on those ones. Maybe I wore them a little crazy. I don't know. Okay, comfort level on the Hermes sandals. I hear that people don't think they are that comfortable. Um, in my opinion, the YSL slides are more comfortable than the Orans. So let's just do a little bit of a comparison. Um, YSL, if you've had bags of theirs or, you know, shoes, you know that they use a very soft type of like leather or material. So this part here, as you can see, it's very, very smooth and it's the same feel as this buttery soft part up here. Now with the Oran, you can see it's not as soft. They tried to put a little bit of cushion here, which helps, but it's just really, really, really flat over here. So you're going to get these two different fabrics here where your toe is, which you may or may not really feel, but you can tell that the bottom or the sole of the Hermes is wood versus it seems like the YSL sole. Um, I don't know if it's wood. You can tell that this part's wood. I just don't know what's in here if it's just made of the same material, but this one just seems a little bit harder. Like when you walk on it, almost like you can feel the wood. That's just how I describe how my foot feels in it. Um, but definitely overall, the YSL slides are more comfortable. Um, my girlfriend also has these same slides and tells me that for some reason the back of the shoe hits her other leg or her heel or something like that. I don't have that problem with either. So here is the Aran, the brown color on my foot. Um, I'm not sure what they describe the color as online. I already forgot, but it's pretty and you know, it has like the signature H on it, whereas the YSL, um, you know, it doesn't have the actual letter logo, but it does have their signature design. This one, their signature, I guess, is more of their letter, the letter H. And then here is the Iran in white. So this is what it looks like with my Love Shack Fancy dress. Now you guys be the judge, which one do you like better with this type of dress? All right, so now the reason why I asked you which sandal you think look better with my dress is because I feel like that may be your answer to which one is worth buying more than the other. So for me, here is my opinion. The YSL, I described it a lot earlier when I was trying it on on my foot, but the design I feel like is more wearable um, and you're able to wear it with more things just because of the way that it looks and the design, their logo or their signature design um, versus the Hermes Oran is a little more elegant in a way because the Hermes Oran, um, it's basically like the letter H, which is very like logo-y, um, I feel like. So if you're trying to pair the Hermes shoe with something more dressy and elegant, it's definitely doable, but if you're gonna have both of them at your disposal and wonder which one looks better with a more dressier outfit. For me, personally, I think it's the YSLs all day. I think the fact that um, the Iran has the logo on it as the strap makes it a little more casual wearing, so it looks great on casual items, but it's not to say that I haven't worn the Iran with dressy items like skirts and dresses. I've shown you, you know, how it looks with me wearing it with this dress. I think in my opinion, a good starter, if you wanted to start off your like designer slide collection, I would start off with the YSL and then move on to the Iran. Overall, I think common comfort and price and wearability is better, but also it's nice to have an Hermes Iran sandal. So there you go. That's kind of like my two cents. And also I wanted to quickly touch on the Christian Dior Douai slides because I know you guys have seen me wear those all the time. Just quickly give you my opinion. So these are the ones that I have. I always think that they have the cutest color combinations, cutest designs. I have meant to, you know, buy more of these ones. It's just that they sell out pretty fast, especially if it's like a really cute neutral color. Um, but this one, I also have the matching tote bag um, too. And I really, really love this one. I was worried that with the color combination, it being like a pink, with like an olive green that I wasn't gonna be able to wear with a lot of things, but I've gotten quite a lot of wear out of this slide. And I will say these are such 
such such comfortable slides so if you look closely if you've never seen one of these in person it's always a fabric at the top right here and it is going to say christian dior um so again it's your kind of like opinion i guess and taste whether you think that makes it a little more casual the thing with this one though that makes it a little more wearable is the fact that it's just simply a strap versus like an actual letter logo to me these are just really great like more on the casual side um i don't really wear these with dresses unless the color scheme matches or goes the sole of these are just so smooth and so soft and so comfortable and for this part right here the strap it's fabric on the top but it's a really really soft leather on the inside right here so if it's rubbing against your foot on the top it's going to be soft it's not going to be this um, fabric right here so for me i actually got a size 36 and a half in these which by the way the oran and the tribute sandals are true to size for me so i'm a true size 7 these ones run a little bit big, so I went a half size down and got a 36 and a half. So this is what the bottom looks like. Really nice wear at the bottom. If it matters to you, to me it doesn't matter. Again, it has that rubber part right here. The middle part is still pretty good. And also because these have a lot of kind of like going on and design to them, um, I haven't had to really wipe it down or anything. Also, you don't really want to wipe this part down just because it is a fabric. Um, but this part you can easily wipe down and even if you didn't, which you should, but even if you didn't, there's always some sort of design at the sole for a lot of theirs, so you can't even really tell. So these ones are actually the most expensive of the bunch. So these are actually $730. I'm not sure if it's just because of the make, you know, like the design, especially up here. So I guess if you're looking for a third designer slide to invest in, this would be it, I would recommend. Although I really haven't tried any other ones. There are some cute ones from Fendi and so on. So this is how the Dior Douai slides look on me. And this is my dress. What do you think? So these ones still fit pretty slim, but they are wider, especially at the strap. But they don't look too crazy. I think that it's still pretty nice and slimming and flattering on the foot. So still definitely, definitely cute and feminine and girly and very, very pretty. All right, you guys, that is pretty much it for my YSL Tribute versus Hermes Oran Sandal, Sandal, Sandal <laughs> comparison. Um, felt a little European there for a second. Hope this helps you if you're trying to decide which one to get and in what order you should invest it in. Invest in it, I can't speak today, but um, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Let me know if it helped. Let me know which ones you're gonna get if you are going to get any of them. Um, and again, thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful and you haven't yet, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video.